everybody so today we're gonna to have the last tasting of batch 14 of 2023 we are in 24 right now so this beer is a year old it's actually 13 months old um, this was brewed September 25th 2023 uh, this is the beginning of October of 24 why am I doing this just to see how they last uh, there's four of them uh, I've done a review of three of them. I'm pretty sure these are the last ones. Could be wrong. Could see another one. Oh, well, if you do. Um, but, yeah, usually small batch. I, I bottle four beers. I do them back to back to back. And then I usually hold off a year. Like, I just finished up another review of one that was four years old. Actually, a little older than four years. And that one was actually good. So you never know. So this one, I won't go through the whole entire thing. Um, if you look in the description, it will have all the malts, um, all the hops, all that kind of stuff. So this is using Citra, Mosaic, and Vic Secret hops. Uh, um, uh, 7.11% ABV. Uh, that this finished at this was bottled on 10 8 23 so actually it isn't 13 months old it is almost 12 months old um so yeah so yeah that this should be interesting um i didn't put the beer smith i was putting the beer smith just to see what the ibus were but they're not on there let's go ahead and open this um i'm guessing four small per, 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 pearl carbonation tablets were used um, okay, Hiss, it is starting to bubble. I think we might be okay. Uh, sometimes I do get some geysers, bottle bombs, but this one looks like it's going to be okay. I'm just going to keep the end in here. I do bottle directly out of the fermenter uh, just to see what the color is. If I was doing this off camera, I would just pour the whole thing in there. But I just want to see what that color is. Off-white, a little yellowish color head. Pretty much all small bubbles. A little over a finger of head. Uh, golden yellow in color, very clear. I would definitely say. You guys are seeing a little bit more orange um, than what I am. But yeah, yellow. I would definitely say that this is more American IPA. Uh, this is this, I guess... Um, recipe is from treehouse brewing they had a short uh video um and told you some basic stuff to follow and that's what i did i made a whole bunch of batches just switching up uh grains um and maybe i've stuck with the same grains the same grains different three hops so yeah it is what it is let's go ahead and smell see what i'm getting a year later Definitely on the citrus side, lemon, orange, citrus, uh, maybe a little tartness coming through. There, I'm, I'm going to say there's a touch of like sweet berry in there, but that could be just because I know there's mosaic in here. The tartness... The wine like could be that Vic Secret, like a green grape, something like that, like winey. That's about, I almost want to say a touch of yeast. Uh, Omega 005 yeast, so probably wouldn't smell it. Yeah, the, it's like a, a sweeter berry up front, but then that like citrus, a little tart, um, lemon, orange is coming through, then a little bit of yeast. That's about it. Let's go ahead and taste, see how it is. More tart than anything, like a lemon acidic tartness orange tartness and it stays throughout the whole entire palate hmm yeah like a bitter lemon peel in the back it doesn't taste bad 
But I don't know if that's the profile it should have. <laughs> it definitely doesn't taste off like like some of these tart acidic beers. Like if they're bad, you can taste it. Can't taste you. This tastes like a normal beer, almost like it. What is is it the lemon drop hop? Like you put too much of that in a beer. There's still some maltiness in there. Not very much, but you can definitely pick it up. But yeah, like lemon, orange, tart, acidic, rind is what I would go with. No berry. It could be wine-like. For me, it's a pass. Yeah, that... I don't get the green grape like I did kind of in the smell saying that that's that Vic secret because it would be more Nelson Savant. But it is like a, a wine-like taste in there. Yeah. This one, I would say, don't let it sit. Drink them all. Um... It'll it should be in the same playlist, uh, but yeah, you you can definitely find this one. I'll I'll try and link it. Um, if you want to check out like the first review, the second review, or the third, just to see how it goes. Um, if I've had time, I've been going back and watching some of those older ones, uh, just to see. But yeah, it is what it is. So if you like this review, check out some more homebrew uh, videos over here. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell. And I'll see you in the next one.